Well, the Knicks haven't won back-to-back -back games since the beginning of February, and that inconsistency really showing in the Eastern Conference standings. We'll talk about that in just a bit. Ian Begley joins us. And, Ian, 73 points the Knicks put up in this game, the lowest by any NBA team this season, the lowest the Knicks have put up since 2018. We saw it against the Hawks. They come back, they tie the game, and then they just can't get over the hump. Why do you think that is? I think it was turnovers against Philadelphia, 19 Nick turnovers, 21 Sixers points off of turnovers. That was a difference, really, because neither team shot it well and when you have a night where Jalen Brunson and Dante DiVincenzo struggle to the degree that they struggled against Philadelphia that's rare for the Knicks and it's hard to overcome for any team but particularly for a team that relies so heavily on Jalen Brunson this was big in the standings because the Knicks had a chance to clinch the tiebreaker with the Sixers they'll have another chance to do it on Tuesday but they also had a chance to get a game on Cleveland yeah. and they missed out on that opportunity too so just yeah certainly something that Knicks want to get back on Tuesday. Yeah, and those standings are super close, four through six, separated by one game in the loss column. So definitely need to string together some wins here. And how they could do that is they can get their guys back, OG and Randall. We know they're traveling to the West Coast. We don't know when they're going to play. It feels like forever since they've played. What can you tell us about that? Yeah. Going to the West Coast, that's a really good sign for Randall and for Ananobi. For Ananobi in particular, though, I think it's very positive, continues to trend the right way. And Tom Thibodeau even said it's just a matter of doctors clearing him and hopefully he comes back. So I think Tuesday is a little bit of a stretch for OG's return, but certainly during that West Coast trip at some point, he should be back on the floor. That would be massive for this Nick team because obviously they had so much success with Ananobi mm -hmm. in January. They've sputtered a bit since then so they really need Ananobi back on the Randall front he's trying to work his way back but there's something that's interesting here there's a little bit of a concern for him not being cleared yet for contact because he was ahead of Ananobi in terms of what he was doing in workouts and he's been at this place now where they're waiting and waiting for him to get cleared for contact for him to play five on five and for him to take that next step and they're just wondering why it's taken a little yeah. bit here some people internally so just something to keep an eye on as the Knicks go west yeah Knicks need to get get some wins together here especially with that big stretch on the west coast coming up free at Begley I'm Nikki Letterall. We'll send it back to you guys.